Yellow flags flying today on the beaches. A different story over the weekend, though. A number of drownings reported from Alabama to Panama City Beach. And today, we're asking officials what can be done to prevent another weekend like this and how many beachgoers have escaped tragedy recently. And Tanner Stewart is joining us right now. Tanner, one water safety official that you spoke to today says that it's a miracle, quite frankly, that there weren't more drownings. That's right, and that message came from Dave Vaughn. He's the beach safety director for the South, Wal South Walton Fire District. And Vaughn tells me that the growing number of visitors ignoring the warning signs is growing concerning. In less than a year, WEAR has covered at least 11 drownings in the Gulf. That number, though, has drastically climbed in just the last five days. There's just been a lot of outright defiance and exceptionalism by a significant portion of visitors who refuse the messaging. David Vaughn is the beach safety director for the South Walton Fire District that covers areas like Blue Mountain Beach and Miramar Beach, where two vacationers drowned on Saturday with red flags flying. Vaughn tells me more than 120 people have been rescued there in less than two weeks. It is no exaggeration to say that we would have made national news for the wrong reasons had we not had the efforts of our first responders and law enforcement out there and our community members who are supporting us on the message and those visitors who chose to listen to the effective messaging. Uh, we know that we're not the only county that's facing the same struggles. It's, it's all over the panhandle. Out here, it can quickly go from extreme happiness to extreme sadness and very, very quickly. And that's what we're trying to prevent. Pensacola Beach escaped tragedy last week, perhaps narrowly. As Dave Greenwood tells me, there have been 16 water rescues since last Monday. Water is not like fire. You know, the, it's, uh, it's very, the, the risk there is, is not as apparent as fire. It's much more hidden risk. Uh, sometimes, most often, you, by the time you realize you're in trouble, it sometimes is often too late. Beachgoers we spoke to along Pensacola Beach Monday appeared familiar with the warning signs and have stories of their own to tell. When I was caught in it, I mean, I panicked. And I mean, I run, I exercise, I swim, I do sports. So it, I panicked. And so I think I had to stay calm and be aware like, okay, think, don't react. The double red flag, you won't catch me out here. Now we went by a couple hotels, condos, we even called some beach rental companies today about their messaging system. Do they offer any kind of warnings to their guests and virtually across the board, no. So it appears that responsibility on beach and water safety is solely up to you as a visitor, of course, all of us here as residents. Reporting live tonight for WEAR News, I'm Tanner Stewart.